meeting tonight in Lexington was supposed to be about school safety, but some angry parents wanted to talk about something else that happened today. ABC 36's Lori Shepard fills us in in our top story at 11. Superintendent Kalk didn't even acknowledge today at the beginning of this meeting what happened. They're talking about a student who brought a loaded gun to Henry Clay High School, something they thought would be the first order of business at this school safety meeting. It just is mind boggling to me that they couldn't be flexible and pivot and say, in light of what has happened this past month and even today in our own district, we're going to pivot a little bit and maybe do things a diff bit differently. Instead, the administration continued with its original plan, and when people tried to speak, they were told to be quiet. One student says she came to the meeting to tell the district they need to work on communication during events like the one at Henry Clay. There was just so many things happening, not really sure what was rumors and what wasn't. And so it would have been great to have some communication between the administrators who were really trying to take care of it with the teachers and down to the students because that fear of not knowing is tremendous. Communication is something Superintendent Manny Cox says the district is improving. It will be launching an app in the coming weeks that will have a constant feed of information concerning safety. During the meeting, the Safety Advisory Council talked about the best practices for school safety, some of those being more counselors in schools, improved relationships between students and teachers, and being sure to treat everyone equally. The safety of a child when they go to school shouldn't be dependent upon the community they live in, the school they attend. Every child deserves to learn in a safe environment. Superintendent Cog told parents and students they can work on scheduling a meeting later on to talk about their concerns. Reporting in Lexington, Lauren Shepard, ABC 36 News.